hi guys welcome to the start of a brand new vlog if you have been here before welcome back if you're new my name is Nomsa and I hope you like what you see and you click on this subscribe button and become officially a part of this family also if you've been coming here over and over and over again clearly you like it here so also please remember that there is a subscribe button that officiates you being part of this family so i really would appreciate it if you clicked on it and join us please also remember to like this video guys as it starts so that you don't forget so today is tuesday morning it's five past ten it's the second of april i am getting ready to go to the mall i'm waiting for my mom or actually there she is she just got here so we're going to the mall to go pick up a few stuff so schools are opening tomorrow need to replenish on like school lunch um items and that so we're doing that together uh yeah can you we have we have a bit yeah so yeah so that's what we're doing um and then later on my sister-in-law is coming <coughs> excuse me my sister-in-law is coming to fill her nails guys i can officially say that i can do nails gel nails i did her nails over two weeks ago it's yeah but it's almost two and a half weeks now her nails have grown she wants to come and fill them and she is so happy with like what her nails look like and just the just how i did them for her the fact that they've lasted this long and mine mine not lasting the, the ones that i do on myself they last you know so i'm glad that hers also lasted because i was basically tasting on her and they're coming on all right cody chill bruh so she's coming to fill her nails that's what i need to remember to buy a top coat as well it's even nicer like when i'm doing them on someone else like they look good mine look good as well but it's even better when i'm doing them on someone else because the technique is even better balance and all of that love it for myself my mom is here guys let's get ready to go to the mall we'll catch up when we catch up i just wanted to say hi welcome let's get this vloggy vlog going cody Keep this so. Why is it? Let me ask Yeah, no, 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 Guys, hi, good morning. Happy Wednesday. Uh, whoo, I've been up. I've been up for a while. Got the kids ready. Mm -hmm. Ready as in 
woke them up woke actually woke Ulunaba up Ululu wakes herself up I'm continuing with my oil pulling you guys in case you were wondering and we can tell that seasons are changing my oil is look look at the consistency of it so let me oil pull and then um, brush my teeth I want to tidy the house up quickly get everything nice and clean and then I'm gonna work out my sister-in-law didn't come yesterday we confused the days the dates or whatever so she's gonna come today to do her nails so that's what I have in my plans for the day oh and I'm gonna do laundry as well so yeah brush my teeth um tidy the house up do some laundry while that's busy i work out and then my sister-in-law comes we do her nails and then yeah do everything else that i need to do in between i'm alone today my husband had to go to site i have the house all to myself that hasn't happened in a bit so yeah let me enjoy that let me do my oil pulling do all the things that i said i was gonna do today and then we'll catch up as the day, as the day progresses i'm just dropping everything there What's going on? I'll catch up with you guys later. I'm outside in a AMG. Right outside. TT. Two turn, baby girl, you know me. Still with the dolls that I grew beside. All the niggas brown me, cry that it die. Gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by. I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT. Two turn, baby girl, you know me. Who am I? All the niggas brown me, cry that it die. Gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by. Two turn, baby girl, you know me. I just caught a shorty off a fence, Just the one on hoodie, it's a cringe, y'all Way that I've been living unconventional I'm just trying to make it to the end, you know Certain things just started getting tense, oh. Think we need to have a sun adventure I could be a man, but maybe down the road Right now, I would rather see my heart turn to bone Rather see my heart turn crystal I can't even find like I don't miss ya Right now, I'm just stuck inside a crib on my own as Soon as I free up, I'm about to pop up on your phone Like, I'm outside in an AMG Right outside PT Two turns, baby girl, you know me Yeah Who am I? All the niggas around me Why do they die? Gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by Two turns, baby girl, you know me Yeah Heart's still on javelin, baby Two turns, baby girl, you know me I was pulling off, but they knew me Sometimes I wish there was two of me Or three of me when it was you and me I'm outside in it I'm, I'm, I'm I'm outside in it I'm, 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 I'm I'm not in my head, told him, I'm not 
how you get down with them clowns, but I'm a soldier. No one could understand. I had way too much aggression. That built over the years from my abandoned adolescence. See, I done been locked, backstabbed, and heartbroken. I wanted to cry, but I was too afraid to open. Praying one day I find a piece of mind by the ocean. I spent all my time committing crimes to get closer. While at my nana house, I play the couch, staring at the ceiling. Trying not to get in my feelings. Thinking of a way I can make these millions. Maybe that'll take this pain away and clear up all these rainy days. Heart yeah. been broken so many times. I don't know what to believe. Mama say it's my fault. It's my fault. I wear my heart on my sleeve. Think it's best I put my heart on my this month it's called um, prime with Sydney the only thing about Sydney that I'm weary about kind of you know like I'm aware of she likes to make us do a lot of glutes and leg workouts right and in as much as I appreciate that name I feel like my booty <laughs> I feel like I'm okay with the size of my behind. Also, I appreciate that uh, I'm not using like weights that are that heavy that would like get my bum to a huge size. And also it takes so much, you know, it takes up. Like people think that lifting weights, especially for women, means you will get like buff and stuff. Guys, can I tell you something? It takes a lot for a woman to look masculine, like as masculine as a bodybuilder. Your your glute area, yes, they, it, it'll be nice and lifted and it will be shaped nicely and firm and all of that good stuff, but it won't be humongous. Like, it won't be huge. Also, I'm of an African descent, so I am naturally gifted in that area, you know, and sometimes I feel like it's a bit much on the glute area, but also it's good because when I work my glutes and my legs, actually, I can feel that my back is also getting stronger, which is good, you know, considering that I'm a woman of a certain age, if you know what I'm trying to say. So yeah, but now today we're doing uh, arms and abs, which all the way good with me. So let me work out you guys. I'm about to die, but My sister in law ended up not coming, you guys. She cancelled on me twice. Okay, yesterday she didn't quite cancel on me, but she has a meeting. And funny enough, someone just commented on a, a an Instagram story that I posted. It was it's showing my nails. I'm holding like an Easter egg, and she says 
uh, the way my nails look so good like people need to start booking me i'm like on period because my technique is so good now so i'm picking the kids up hi and then um i want a mascopas bubble I want some scopas and those chips and stuff. Yeah. You're gonna go with Lulu. You'll probably meet her that way. You need to pee. Where are you gonna pee now? Why did you pee at school? It's so weird. Because we were in class and they don't allow us to go to the bathroom. You're gonna have to find a tree and stand somewhere and pee. <laughs> Whoa. Go there, Boozy. Go to that tree there. By that grey house. This one here. This one here. By the metal thing. Yes. Thing. Yes. You already know what's going down. <laughs> should we go? Should we take it? Take the car down. It's quite full there. Yeah, I know. Okay. Things I need the bottle. You too. This one also. He went to go pee by the tree. <laughs> Shab, Mama will explain to you what we want. Yeah, so I'm gonna wait here guys and then guys do you see my skin how how glorious is my skin looking how glorious is my skin looking it's looking so nice Yagi suits to work. Okay. Yes, he had my mouth closed because honey, I'm a lady. Come on, oh. somebody. Mm. God doesn't forgive you. Mm. If you don't forgive your spouse, hello, the whole Bible applies to marriage. Let's stop taking out Ephesians 5 and yeah, putting yeah. it on a pedestal. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. This is your brother. Yeah. This is your sister in yeah. Christ. Yeah. If they're not in, in Christ, this is your fellow human being, yeah. your neighbor, yeah. your husband, your spouse is your neighbor. So, Take the whole word and apply it to your marriage. marriage. Sure. That requires leading by the Spirit. You know, life is so much easier when you allow yourself to be vulnerable. You don't have to carry the burden of strength. It's a burden. Because you end up finding yourself so lonely. Because you closed yourself off from feeling. So feel. Feel. Hi, guys. Thursday. <laughs> it's Thursday. It's around 10 to 11. I'm on my way to China Mall. Mtunyiwe guys, abando ba nama business bang tumile because they've got other responsibilities, i.e. <laughs> school. So I need to just go buy some of their supplies quickly from China Mall because they can't wait until the weekend they have orders that they need to fulfill like now as in tomorrow friday so yeah yesterday yesterday guys i forgot actually that we had a church service we don't usually have like church services in the middle of the week we had one yesterday and when i said to you guys that was all i was doing yesterday I had forgotten that we had church you know and can I tell you something you guys so it was from 7 until 8 there is nothing that brings me joy than going to church nothing on this earth makes me happy than to take time off of my day and just dedicate it to God dedicate it to worshiping God and hearing from God like yes I do it by myself at home yes I do it but being in a corporate environment 
nothing beats that so when i realized that we were going to church i was so happy you guys and uh yeah so that's what we did it was it was my husband was asking me the other day do i know if i know how god speaks to me you know because god speaks to us in different ways banyabantu he speaks to, to them through like dreams and visions other people he speaks to like in different ways you know and i have realized that god speaks to me through people and by people it can be anybody at any time you know and going to church for me is not just for like selfish reasons of wanting to hear what god has to say to me specifically but just being able to be in a corporate environment where we are all in agreement and we're all worshiping god and you know giving him the honor and the praise and the glory that he deserves like for me it takes the cup you know so yeah so this morning i just i woke up i was in my peaceful era i was watching kabelo um hale podcast i enjoyed that episode with that girl musidi i think her name is musidi i think and she's just talking about her journey um as a christian and as, as a divorced christian woman and that girl is rooted in the word and that's the one thing that i love about her that in as much as she is going through what she's going through she is growing in her spiritual life so much that you know you you kind of wish to be like in a position to be spiritually like rooted like she is not particularly in her like situation you know that she's facing facing which is unfortunate but just being able to just every single subject that you speak about every emotion every action everything that you speak about everything about you is rooted in the word like that is the life that i'm aspiring to you know so yeah let's go to china mall you guys and let me get these things for these kids i'm not even gonna walk around there my husband has already scared me telling me about how unsafe it is a china mall i don't know people steal people or what or what or what or what i don't know let me go i will chat to you guys i don't know i think when i come back It is so hot now and the problem is that I'm not even wearing a bra so and this top is so light I could not walk without the sweater on me um I'm making spare of the moment dinner idea is mince cabbage and um itombolo i'm lazy to mix my own dough i hardly ever mix my own dough <laughs> so i just buy it here from spa this meal that i'm going to make <clears throat> a lady that used to look after lulu the only nanny that Lulu ever had she only ever had one nanny until she started school like that lady she so this was her speciality when she was spoiling us she would make us this meal cabbage dombolo or she she called it to jetka and uh, and and mints so i'm gonna try and make that today and yeah i went to china mall literally i did walk around a bit but i mainly just did what i went there to do and then i'll show you i bought like one two things so yeah let's get home let's cook it's already like 20 past one i didn't even take the mints out of the fridge but i'm only cooking yeah okay the mints i'll cook last because i'm only cooking that around because we eat dinner at six so i'll cook that around like five so that's fine it should have melted all the ice in the meantime i will let my dough rise because they just made it the nice thing about the spa our spa here is that 
you go to the fridge because they always have dough in the fridge they make fresh dough every day and they put it there for people to buy if there's nothing at the fridge then you go ask the ladies that sell there at the counter so they just give you fresh dough <clears throat> from the back uh, where they mix and make everything so let's do that let me show you what i bought from uh from there from channel Wall. i just got two collagen masks um and then i bought a phala because the one that i have is almost done and then i bought a color a gel color this is also a good brand if you are looking at doing like uh your nails at home like gel this is a good brand this is the brand that i started with and uh, it definitely the only thing i wouldn't buy from this brand is white if you want to do white nails don't buy from this brand i don't know there's just something about it there's just something about their white that just does not it just doesn't dry for some reason i don't know this is not a red this is more i don't know i don't know what to say this color is compared to the red that i have on it's quite different but it's a nice i felt like it was a nice winter color so yeah that's what i'm doing i'm waiting for my dombolo to rise for my mints to defrost then i'll start cooking with you guys later i'm not going to show you the kids stuff because like it's their things you know like and and like they they are doing it the way that they want to do it i don't want to like i want to intervene you know they're doing their thing the way that they want to do their thing and yeah i just feel like it's not my place to be putting their stuff out there like that if they want to they'll do it themselves so yeah i'll catch up with you when we cook God, you call me by my name the love you give me i just can't deny yeah no longer blinded, I can see you I'm on my way to meet you We gotta talk, you know All these trials and tribulations Got me tired, I need rest And I heard that I can come to you When weary of my flesh You awake me from death God, I need you No more walking by the flesh That's when I leave you God told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone Told me I'm, told me I'm Told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone Know that I'm someone No, I'm a child of God I wanna go to Godly way Close to your love again I give my heart again, Jesus I wanna go to Godly way Close to your love again I give my heart again, Jesus I know you know me well I feel invisible until you tell me you're right here I cancel plans with you to be with pain and break your heart Sometimes I go to you for what you give, not who you are I wonder if you'll leave for me God, just tell me what you need from me Is the Holy Spirit telling me God, I'm asking you for clarity God told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, told me I'm, told me I'm, told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, know that I'm someone, no, I'm a child of God. Someone told me I'm, told me I'm, told me I'm, 
Told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone Know that I'm someone No, I'm a child of God I wanna go to God Hi guys, Molweni. It is a Friday morning. It's half past 11. So uh, I am doing mommy duties today. I am going to pick up the kids from school. They're supposed to come out at half past one. But because I have an appointment for Rululu to apply for her ID at um, the FNB branch here by us, I have to pick them up. I'm going to just pick both of them up because I'm not sure what time or finish to be able to pick up Ulonwabo as well. So I'm just going to pick them up now at 12. And then we make our way there. Yeah, we have a one o'clock appointment for Lulu's ID. So that's what we're doing. Let's come along. We'll probably go grab ice cream after that appointment. And then, yeah, my sister-in-law called me. She wants to come today to do the nails. But I don't know. It's very tricky. I've been talking about my sister-in-law this whole vlog. If, you know what, I'm going to try. If she does come today, I'm going to try and get her to say hi to you guys because I have been talking about this person the whole vlog we'll see she's very camera shy like she's not a person that likes to be like out there like that she probably will say no but anyway what i wanted to say to you is that we are going to go apply for an id because i have two big girls now two big girls and then my boy is coming along like this and then we'll be officially like out of kids basically we'll just have adults around us and it's nice it's god's blessings and we thank him for that so yeah guys let me show you my outfit and then we'll be oh also i want to try and get some content while we're there for my instagram because i haven't posted anything i posted something today just a little real just to be like hey i'm still here because since the uh what you call this that series i haven't posted so let me show you my outfit and then we be on our way literally just in a t-shirt i like these sunnies of mine you guys know them by now uh, my gold jewelry i'm wearing skinny jeans from zara and then my uh, new balance sneakers and then i'm gonna throw in a blazer for the content that i want to shoot for instagram so that's me no makeup nothing just simple old me let's go do mommy duties God, you call me by my name The love you give me, I just can't deny Yeah, No longer blinded, I can see you I'm on my way to meet you I look better in person than I can Actually, that's a good thing, actually If you say so I know that I look better in person But I need you Walking by the flesh, that's when I leave you. God told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, told me I'm, told me I'm, told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, know that I'm someone, no, I'm a child of God. I wanna go to God anyway. You guys room if you need to apply for a passport or an ID go to a bank go to FNB I know Axa does it as well go there don't go to a home affairs office if you want to be frustrated and if you want to spend your whole day at a department of home affairs office do that go to a branch and you book online obviously first book like i want to say two weeks in advance well anyway you can't tell when you get a date but we waited about two weeks i think if not three but you go in you spend less than 30 minutes in and out like no admin nothing you go there just with the required document if it's your id for a passport that's what you bring if it's an id then you bring a birth certificate they do everything online everything digital in and out in like 15 minutes 30 minutes at most so i'm advising you as your friend because i love you i don't wanna i don't want you to spend your time cleaning benches at the home affairs department if you love yourself like i love you So what can I say to you? But I'm off 
fall back. You got everybody thinking I'm all bad. You know, I was always holding you down. You down. <laughs> Yo guys, happy Saturday, Bacho. Five past ten. We are in the parking lot of our church. We are driving out. We had our first Saturday of the month prayer, which is from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. If you live in the south and you're interested, if you want to start like your month with a good old prayer you're welcome to come to our church and uh, yeah as i told you guys i live at church i'm gonna be at church again tomorrow because this is my second home we are just gonna drive down to i don't know this area whatever it's called but Siofunamakwenya. the weather is very nice and cloudy and it's calling for a good old lockdown breakfast so hopefully we'll get <laughs> we are, yeah, we're just gonna go grab Ama Ama Kunya to have for breakfast and then we'll catch up in a bit because also this vlog needs to go up tomorrow. So I'm gonna have to wrap it up very fast, quick, fast in a hurry. So yeah, let's catch up um just now when we get our breakfast and then do the things. Before I have my breakfast guys, let me close the vlog off. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching, for subscribing, for commenting and just engaging. Thank you for the love. Always, always, always this channel is because of your support. I can post as many videos as I want, but if you guys are not going to watch, then it's all pointless. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. Please remember to like the video if you haven't. And you and I will catch up on the next video. Love you guys. Bye.